Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this new video. Um, in the previous video, what you saw me do was uh, a time lapse of sorts where I was inking uh, this black area and then inking the leg. I was gonna ink this behind the scenes, but I was like, nah, I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging. I'm gonna show you guys how I would approach uh, this part and at least uh, leave this part up, leave this part finished. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it because I don't, uh, I don't have a lot of time, I think. Um, don't wanna take up too much time, but I'm gonna start rendering uh, this leg. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but I'm, uh, I'm working with the Copic. I've recently discovered these Copics, and they're really, really good. I wish I, I wish I had discovered these a whole lot sooner. Actually, I'm thinking about going, uh, uh, going all in on the Copics and just uh, <clears throat> um, and just forgetting the microns. These flow just so much smoother on the page. Now, in case you're not, you don't know what, what this is. Uh, this is a character that's called Dread Knight. I recently uh, started a new uh, what, video series, I guess you can call it, on uh, on my chat on the channel, where I ask uh, the people in the chat uh, what they would like for me to draw. And we did it in, in different stages. Uh, first, I asked. Uh, the people in the chat to nominate things then after I took their nominations we uh, we voted on which one people would like to see me draw the most and then and then it came down between this and another character called uh, Nancy Moon and uh, this came out on top um, so Dread Knight it belongs to a uh, it's a character that belongs to a friend. Uh, his name is uh, B.A. Turner. He's launching a, a mini comic um, with the character and the, and the mini comic and the story that's coming with it. The, the, the novel, I think, that's attached to it is called Vigilante's Creed. He currently has signups for it. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so he nominated his character and it won. So that's great. So now I'm drawing this character. It's a really fun design. I'm digging it. I mean, who doesn't like drawing gargoyles? Gargoyles are the shears. Trying to check your lines here. You know, what I'm doing right now is just trying to respect the shape. Um, 
there's, a, there's a, obviously as you can see there's a big claw here <laughs> and so um I don't know if you can hear that background noise, but there's a uh, rockets going off. Fireworks. Everything here is fireworks. Mother's Day, Father's Day, everything's get, everything gets celebrated with fireworks. So I apologize if that's interfering with uh, with the sound. My sincerest apologies. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm trying to respect the shape here. Uh, this is a claw that we can see um, in this character. And, uh, and yeah, so there's bumps and, and, and there's bumps and stuff and scrapes. I'm trying to catch. And, uh, I'm trying to respect those shapes. Give it some kind of shadow to it also. Man, you probably heard that one. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty festive over here. And that's what you want to call festive. But yeah, so you can see here, for example, what I'm trying to go for with um, with the claw here. And uh, let's see if this works. And get some wear and tear in there. The moment I started talking, all these fireworks start going off. It's annoying. Yes, yeah, so here is this part. I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to um, how I wanted to record this if I wanted to uh, do uh, individual videos or a live stream. I haven't done a draw stream in a while. So I figured that might be one way to, to do that. But uh, This opportunity presented itself while I was drawn today, so I figured let's go with that. And by this opportunity, I mean right now, inking.
sorry, I can't tell you. Yeah, when I ink, I always go back and forth between some of the various uh, tools that I use. I'm using a uh, Fudenosuke, I'm using the Copic. Um, I use this Artline pen sometimes. Uh, you saw me, you saw that in the other video. But, um, but yeah, and uh, I'm not gonna do too much else here because I'm planning on rendering this because it's gonna be like a rock, a boulder type thing. So I'm gonna ink this in black and uh, yeah, I'm almost, almost, I'm actually almost done. At least with this part. There's always more to ink. <clears throat> yeah, that might be it. Now, um, over here, I'm gonna try to play with some dim lighting. Uh, right here. I'm gonna try to play with some dim lighting right here. So I'm gonna have like this, I don't know if you can see this, but there's this white line right here. I did that on purpose, you no? Know, Cause I have my primary light source coming from up top right here. So I'm gonna shine down like here. And then there could always be a secondary light source shining this way. So I'm gonna leave this area. I left this area on purpose like that. I'm gonna do the same thing here, but I'm not gonna carry it over here or any of this area here. It's just only on this left side of the character, all the way down there. It's gonna also help me to separate from this black area and, and the arm, but I'm gonna leave it like that. And then try to play around a little bit with some, uh, with some rim lighting. Yeah, and I'm just going to finish this part and then I'll be it for this video and then I'll show you guys another video where I work on another area of this piece. And uh, <clears throat> in case you're curious, um, the fireworks were for Mother's Day weekend. And my name is Elliot. <laughs> and I'm drawing this character named Dread Knight. Uh, my boy B.A. Turner. So, uh, uh, IP called Digilani's Creed. It's going to come out soon. He's got a lot of artwork on there from uh, Corey Barton. And uh, yeah, you guys should check it out. You guys should check it out. And so this is the, the winner. They voted for this and this is what I'm drawing. And um, yeah, so this is what I'm drawing. And then after I'm done with this, hopefully we'll do it again and I'll get another, some more nominations, get another character. Um, I mentioned in the live stream that for my next project though, uh, for my next uh, um, drawing like this, I'm going to draw a Marvel character. I'd like to draw a Marvel character. I haven't drawn one in a long time. So I'll let you guys choose. Who would you like to see me draw? Um, I'm kind of hoping some kind of villain. I haven't drawn Marvel villains in a long time. Um, like for example, I don't have a drawing of Green Goblin or or Magneto or Doctor Doom or some of those guys. So something like that maybe would be a good idea. But yeah, the topic would be Marvel, and then you guys are free to nominate whoever you like within Marvel. Okay? 
and then uh, for the next one after that, uh, probably do a DC character, and then go back to indie. Do some kind of rotation like that. Huh? And uh, and yeah, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this. And and taking up commissions i got a uh, got quite a few um to do so i'm going to be working on those and you'll see me work on them as i'm as i'm doing them so it's going to be a lot of i'm going to have a lot of content for you guys coming up soon so be be sure to, uh, to hit that like button hit subscribe to the channel to get more content like this and i hit you up with uh with more videos man I see that for example I rendered it like that because it's a muscle and I'm trying to catch that shape yeah it, it, this is a lot more effective than if I was just to draw a straight line across and so I mean uh, I try my best to catch the shapes like that when I can it's not easy um, but uh, if you can do it then yeah try to respect that shape and, um, it makes all the difference. Uh, looks pretty. It looks, it looks a lot better when you do that. When you manage to do that. Uh, so um, now the last thing I want to do before I say goodbye to you guys is do the rim lighting effect. Now for this, this is a very simple trick. And so this is the edge, right? This is the edge here. I'm leaving this edge off. So what I'm gonna do is do this. Just drew these short parallel lines all up and down that. At least give that effect, huh? And so when the color is colors, this you can put like a color here and then put like a nice rad color right there. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. It should be where the leg. Always respecting the shape, trying to respect the shape. Pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much it. That is my leg. <laughs> I gotta get on to the rest of this. And um, yeah, so that's the piece. That's Dread Knight. Yeah, pretty much it. 
pretty cool. So yeah, if you like the video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share this out to your friends, tell everybody about me, and, um, and yeah, I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next video. The next video. Yeah, I've never done I've never done tweak uh, tweaking on this. I always go back and add more lines. But yeah. But yeah, so that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. You guys be safe. Take care. And before you go, don't forget that I'm working on my own comic. It's called Ominous. And it starts with a 10-page preview with story and artwork by yours truly. Featuring this sweet cover colored by the awesome Matt Yaki. So be sure to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything.